Hello, it's Brian here from Britsent. Today we'll be looking at three phrases that native speakers use really, really often when making plans. So, let's go! The first phrase we have is pencil mm, in. This phrase comes from when people would make plans and write the plans in a diary with a pen or in this case a pencil. When you write something in pencil, it is easy to rub out. That means that these plans are not 100% confirmed, they are open and can be changed. So if you want to make tentative plans that you know can or might be cancelled or changed, you could say things like, I will pencil it in for tomorrow. Or she said she would pencil me in for some time next week. Let's take a look at this phrase in context. Okay, everyone, so that was a great meeting. Good ideas, good ideas, okay ideas. Let's pencil in another meeting for next Monday, 9 a.m. The next phrase we'll be looking at is that works or that works for me. This phrase does not mean this thing is functioning properly. It is used when making plans and the schedule is good for you or you are free at that time. It works for you. For example, you could say 9 a.m. works, 9 a.m. works for me, or you could say actually Monday works better for me, or does tomorrow work for you? Let's take a look at this phrase in a situation. Hey, how are you? Are you free for a drink after work today? Yeah, what time? Say 6.30? Mm, I think 7 might work better for me because I finish late. Uh, okay, well, I'll pencil you in for 7, but let me know if you get off early. Okay. Lastly, when you finish making plans and you want to finish the conversation, you can say, see you then. This means, I will see you at the time we have just discussed. So. Let's have a look at all the phrases we've covered today. Pencil mm, in, that works, and see you then in context. Hey Brian, want to grab a drink sometime next week? Hey Brian, uh, sure, but uh, I'm actually drinking right now. But I might be a bit busy if it's next week. Uh, okay, well, I'll pencil you in for the week after. That works for me. See you then! Well, that's all for me today. I hope these phrases are useful for you the next time that you are making plans. If you want to improve your English, don't forget to sign up to Britsent for one-to-one -one lessons, either online or face-to-face. -face. We also offer high-quality editing services and Korean to English translation services. See you next time! Bye! All the phrases we've covered today. Lah, <laughs> <laughs>